Hola, come inside. It's your baby. Friendly reminder. Fellas, if you hop over in her DM and ask her what her cash app is and she send it, don't follow up with a how your day was. My day? I can care less about my day. Where's the cash? I just want to say you sound like a lovely woman to go back to my village people. Everyone's going to love you. I can tell everyone's going to approach you and say things like, what's your name? How'd you guys meet? And you'll just, uh... Screw my day. Where's the cash? Why is we, why are we, why are we going away from the money? What happens to the money? Are you sending the money? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I really can't tell if this is an actual gold digger or if we're looking at some Fendom thing going on here. If you're not familiar with Fendom, it's essentially when dudes get off to like sending their entire paycheck to these chicks and they get uh, nothing in return, that's right, literally nothing. Part of me wonders what that's like, you know, you, you sent your whole paycheck to this chick and there you are with no money and a soft boner in your hand. I mean, like, we've all had some post-nut clarity kick in, you know, you're not proud of what you did, but it's in the past, it's not really here anymore. But when you go to clean up, you know, the mess you made, you gotta feel so fucking stupid, dude. Anyways, if you guys don't mind, I need to ask my girl something here real quick. Uh, hey, babe, you look great today, I just want you to know that. Do you want to go out and do something tonight? You can't try to have a conversation with me when the, when the topic is money. You know what? We'll talk about it later. Anyways, today I got something I want to show you guys. We're going to be watching this man propose to his girlfriend, I assume. Now, there's one thing I want you guys to be thinking about, and that is the fact of what it took to get to this moment right here, okay? Think about all these people that's over at the house right now. You gotta get food for them, drinks, all this shit. You gotta go out to the store, pick out a ring for your future wife. Like, there's a lot of planning and thought that goes into this moment right here, and obviously it's not going to go... If it went good, it would not be on my channel. Like, none of us would give a fuck, but because some shit goes down, well, let's take a look. Awesome. Now, I'm no psychology major or anything, but I can go ahead and say that this is not a good face, okay? When you get this face right here, it screams anger, disappointment, confusion, um, and also, he's probably not too happy with you at the moment, you know? Now, I'm not sure how much you guys will actually be able to hear, especially if you're not wearing headphones. Kim, that's easy. But essentially, the woman did not like the ring that he picked out, and she's throwing a fucking fit about it. Like, I, I'm just gonna say, dude, if I was in this position, I'd just pack up my shit, say, you know what? You're right. I'm fucking out of here. It's funny because the way that this woman is acting, it honestly reminds me of like back in the day, you'd see those YouTube videos where dad goes out and buys his 16 year old daughter a red Lambo and she comes out of the house kicking, screaming and crying because it's not yellow. Like what the fuck dad? It was supposed to be a yellow Lambo. This video is also great because I feel like we can totally read the body language from the man. Like at first we saw the anger and confusion. Now we see regret. Oh, I don't like their race, but uh, we already got <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm happy for the couple, and I'm glad this man was a good sport about it all, but I wouldn't be. Fuck, he's a better man than I am, I guess. I mean, I've seen some weird proposals in my day, but this is definitely up there, dude. Like, the fact that he got on one knee, he's asking her the one question that most women want to hear in their lifetime, and she's sitting there arguing about a stupid ring? Like, something that could easily be changed? I mean, good luck to him. I wish him the best, but I'm just saying, if you're arguing while you're down on one knee, bro, I don't think it's gonna last too long. Now, I will say, this woman was getting absolutely flamed on Twitter, and for good reason. There's a time and a place for everything, right? Like, you don't fart in church, and you don't argue with your man about materialistic items while he's down on one knee, asking to spend the rest of his life with you. Like, I truly don't know if we have enough evidence to say she's a straight up gold digger, but I think the best way to summarize this video is some lyrics by Kanye where he said, 
Now, I ain't saying she's a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke. Anyways, fellas, the moral of the story here is just stay away from these girls, dude. Like, if she ain't a headache today, she's gonna be tomorrow. And if she's not tomorrow, then she's gonna be the next day. You could go out and buy her a $100,000 Cadillac, and she's gonna be pissed because she wanted a Mercedes instead. And I will say, I'm no relationship guru by any means necessary, but if you build a relationship on the premises of money alone, that's why you guys are both happy. She ain't yours, bro. It's just your turn. And with all that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You know what else I really appreciate? The world's greatest channel members of all time. We got Niga Singa, Savannah. Varstis, Zingies, and that's it. Guys, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. But uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Now, I know this video is only three seconds long, but there's a lot of information we can gather in just that short amount of time. I'm sure most of you know this by now, but if you don't, the Warriors just won the NBA Finals, so all the players are out celebrating in the streets with the fans, and, uh, I mean, it seems like a great time, honestly. Pictures, beer, and, uh, getting assaulted. Because who doesn't love that, you know? Anyways, if we slow this video down, you'll see that Steph actually gets with a couple fans to take a photo real quick. Meanwhile, Grandma got a different game plan. She coming in with the smoochy lips. Now, I assume this woman just decided to go ahead and do a little full send right here because from the moment she steps onto the camera, she is already wrapping her arms around his neck. Which at that point, you're already crossing the line, you know? It'd be one thing if maybe you approached him and gave him a hug or, you know, if, like if you're a young fan that's totally normal but you are a fucking gilf like you should know better by now and then we finally see the reason that she put her arms around his neck was to pull him closer that way he didn't have an option now i know we're a minute into the video but i would like to go ahead and preface this by saying this woman should be in fucking jail now i know some of you are gonna be trying to make a case for this woman and say that it's you know i'm acting a little extreme here let me put it to you this way, all right? If Taylor Swift was out here on the streets, you know, hanging out with fans, taking pictures, someone walks up to her with their palms facing upward in the sky and their thumb about halfway over their palm, that way it resembles them grabbing a pair of gigantuous fucking titties. And maybe even this guy takes things to the next level and throws in a little <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Do you think the police, you know, Taylor Swift's security is just going to be like, Sir, could you please not do that? You know, just, just leave her alone, man. That's not very nice. Yeah, I don't think that's how it's going to go down. In fact, you know, the whole point I'm trying to make here is, uh, can we just get a little bit of equality up in this bitch? Now, I will say it would be one thing if Steph, you know, maybe uh, reciprocated there and stuck his tongue down her throat, but that was not the reaction the man had. In fact, he pulled away faster than a uh, frat dude that just so happened to be fucking a BBW because he's been on a dry spell for a while and he's looking down the barrel of child support. In other words, you could say he pulled out of that situation uh, pretty quickly. And as always, with any other news surrounding Steph Curry, his wife Aisha just just has to come out here and start running her mouth. This one, though, is pretty short and simple here. She said, I would have went effing ballistic. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of Aisha. In fact, we actually got something cooking up for her in the future. But uh, this is one of the few times I think I kind of have to agree with her. You know what I'm saying? Like some random gilf out here tried to kiss her man. So I guess I understand where she's coming from. It does make a little bit of sense. Now, I will say I just want to see some equality go on here. If you were to do a little 180 on the genders in this situation here, that guy would probably land his ass in the clink and uh, 
I don't think he'd have an option. I think he'd have to drop the soap. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, fellas, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You know what else I really do appreciate these days? The world's greatest channel members, which I just so happen to have. We have Savarstus and that's it. Guys, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. But uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content. I swear to God, I will catch you guys next time later. Where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner. Shut up, bitch! Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now, wait, is something dying right now? Oh my bad, it's just Lizzo playing the flute. Anyways, for those of you that haven't heard the news yet, apparently Lizzo got cancelled. Kind of. Don't get it twisted, her career is definitely not going to be over, but I will say, you know, this is probably one of the least harmful things Lizzo has done. But there's one thing I would like to point out here. I'm a bad bitch, so I just do what bad bitches do. Let me get this straight, you're a bad bitch and you do what bad bitches do and that's great you know i really do respect that but uh i didn't know bad bitches caved the like 12 year old timmies and jimmies on twitter like do you guys remember when she got bullied by these children on tiktok into jumping on her bed just to prove she's not fat if you don't i got a video on it i'll link it in the description below anyways i know she wants to be recognized as some bad bitch but to me she's just some fat bitch so but that being said let's just lay the timeline here of what actually went down so lizzo released this new hit song called gers and i gotta say i just listened to it for the first time it is fucking ass it is horrible and within that song she had a line and i quote do you see this shit I'm a spaz. And apparently, that was enough for someone to get big mad on Twitter, go type out some essay, and here we have it. She says, Hey Lizzo, my disability, cerebral palsy, is literally classified as spastic diplegia. Blah, 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 who cares? Your new song makes me pretty angry. Plus, sad. Spaz doesn't mean freaked out or crazy. It's an ableist slur. It's 2022 do better. I'm not gonna lie. When I first read this story, I really thought it was fake, dude. I honestly thought that Lizzo was just trying to do something to get her name back out there in the headlines because, well, she did just release a song, so she's trying to be relevant again. Because here's the thing, dude, all right? People have been using the term spaz for decades, right? Like, no one's ever had a fucking issue with this until now. You could be talking about the Spaz 12 in Call of Duty. Hell, I used to watch a YouTuber. His name was Spaz My Dogs. Or you could even just be like, hey, my computer is spazzing out right now. I can't send that email. Clearly, she wasn't using it in a derogatory way, you know? So I don't really understand the whole, like, you gotta change the lyrics kind of thing here. And I know some of you might be freaking out like, oh my god, Doc, what am I supposed to do? I can't believe this. Don't worry, I have good news, and that's if you hear a song, you know, it could be any song, that is, and let's just say this song that you were listening to, it made you a little angry plus sad, you know? The best thing you could do here is, uh, turn off the goddamn song. Skip to the next one. Pause it. Do something. But instead, just because one person doesn't fucking like something, they take it to Twitter and demand the whole song be changed for everyone. And I can't believe I'm fucking defending Lizzo right now. I'd rather drink piss from an ostrich, but I just personally do not agree with this trying to cancel someone because they said a word which has been used for a very long time and no one's ever had an issue with it. Hell, if we even look at the context here, she says, do you see this shit? I'm a spaz, meaning I'm about to freak out. It's not like she said, hey, I'm about to fuck up this. Anyways, when something like this happens, Lizzo obviously came out and made a public statement. I'm a bad bitch, so I just do 
of bad bitches do. Obviously, it's just a joke, okay? Here's what the big beautiful woman actually said. It has been brought to my attention that there is a harmful word in my new song, Gers. Let me make one thing clear. I never want to promote derogatory language. As a fat black woman in America, I've had many hurtful words used against me, so I understand the power words can have. I guess I fucking don't, because personally, I don't see an issue here. The only issue I really see with this whole, you know, little debacle going on here is that you fucking bowed down. You bowed down to a bunch of 12-year-olds on Twitter. Rather than coming out and making a statement saying, I didn't use it in a bad way, dipshit. Instead, you chose to redo an entire verse in your song. And personally, I just, I can't get behind that, man. There's really no reason for that. I'm all for treating each other with respect and, and giving everyone equal opportunities. But this is just, this is bullshit is what it is. To the person who suffers from that condition, all right, listen, I'm sorry. Life's not fair. It sucks you have to go through that. But uh, you said, it's 2022, do better, as if we know that's a a word we're not supposed to say anymore in fact i think you're the first fucking person to actually be offended over that word there's more i'd like to touch on this topic with but i'm not gonna go there today i already feel like i'm stepping on some toes you know susan if you see this video and you're thinking to yourself like god i fucking hate this guy just remember i still want to cream pie you by the way anyways fellas that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it you know what else i really appreciate besides susan letting me cream pie in the future is the world's greatest channel members of all goddamn time we have savarstis and that's it guys thank you so much for your support it really does mean everything to me if you would like to support the channel yourself consider becoming a member today but uh more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and i'll catch you guys next time later where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner shut up bitch Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a uh, fantastic day as usual. Now, one thing I want you guys to take away from today's video is, uh, I see a lot of dumb stuff online every single day. Pretty much every time I log into Twitter, I just try not to beat my head in on a car door. However, today was just a little bit different than most days on the internet. Now, before we get too far into today's video, I want to throw a little disclaimer out there. I'm not really a political person, okay? I have much more important sh to be doing in my life. If you agree with something I say, great, we can be friends. If you disagree with something I say, great, we can also be friends. However, one person I just simply can't be friends with is a doctor that refuses to help someone based on their vote. Check this out. This woman tweets, I prescribe meds. I also choose not to prescribe them. So from now on, if you are a white male who votes conservative, your penis needs to ask God for the power to rise. No more Viagra. So for those of you that are unaware, doctors have a very, very strict line of code of ethics that they are forced to follow. You do not have an option. This is not something you get to pick and choose here. Some jobs you might get to, for instance, if you work at McDonald's and let's say some fat ass feminist comes through, some big titty bitch, right? And she's just causing you all sorts of issues like, hey, there's too many pickles on this burger. You can probably tell her to fuck off and you, and you might actually get to keep your job. However, some jobs are just held to a higher standard. Okay, I know it sucks sometimes. I'm sure there's a doctor out there that's really just wanted to give a prostate exam to someone who didn't need a prostate exam. But when you sign up to be a doctor, when you put your name on that contract, that's usually something you understand. Clearly, this woman did not, though, because she was already getting some pretty bad interactions after that first tweet, right? Like, that's not really something you see your doctor tweet out every day. But then she doubled down on top of it she said bring it i'm allowed to prescribe based on need if you think god can provide then why would i not allow for that conservative men rely on god to provide i think that is a wonderful idea let us pray again not exactly a good look like if my doctor was tweeting out something like this i mean i don't know if i'd switch but i might pop in the office right quick and uh hey doc the fuck is going on with you 
I mean, really, this is quite literally the worst possible decision you could have ever made as a healthcare provider. At least in my eyes, this is probably the same level as a pastor watching some adult films, or even better yet, mid-sermon. Your pastor's like, hey guys, I have to go to the potty, okay? I just absolutely have to go. You decide, you know what, I'll go to the bathroom as well. You pop in the bathroom and the pastor has the secretary bent over the toilet, the man is balls deep inside her, while that woman might be receiving a hell of a sermon. I gotta say, that's probably not a good look for a pastor, and you're probably gonna lose your job, just like this doctor did. If we take a look at the providers page, you'll see there's a file not found, and just to top it off here, Registered nurse Shauna, who said she prescribes meds based on the political affiliation of her patients, has resigned. Now ask yourself this question, was that fucking worth it? Was it really worth losing your job over tweeting out some dumb shit like that? I will say, I've seen a lot of people in the comments section begging for her license to be removed as a practitioner. If I'm being completely honest here, dude, I am not a fan of cancel culture, and I think everyone here knows that by now. I don't know if I want to see this woman lose her license, at least not yet, okay? Prove to me that you've changed. Prove to me that you learned your lesson here, and get back out there in the medical community, okay? Do great things, but... At the same time though, if a firefighter was saving a woman from a burning building and he asked her what political party she's associated with and he just fucking dumped her body on the floor and ran out the building, I think he's probably going to lose his job as well. Either way, fellas, the moral of the story here is if you're going to have thoughts like this, you know, you really don't want to help out people that are a part of a different association than you. That's kind of something you like keep in your inner circle, you know, maybe joke about it with your friends, the homies, you know. Don't necessarily go out on your public Twitter where all of your information as a doctor is available and start saying some whack-ass shit because it's probably not going to end up in your favor. Either way, just remember that the future is female and this guy right here has some very nice man titties, I must say. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You know what else I really appreciate? I actually just thought of this. The world's greatest channel members of all goddamn time. We have Savarstis and that. That's it. Guys, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. But uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as a lot of you know, I am retiring soon from being an e-girl and there's a lot of reasons for that, but just know that my links are going to get super crazy. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on and these things that we're about to discuss are the cherry on top. So let me get this straight, Amaranth is gonna quit doing OnlyFans and I'm gonna quit being alive. I mean, dude, this is just really difficult for me, especially because like, just last month I was taking a shower with her and here she is saying she's gonna ride off into the sunset without me. Anyways, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, even though I just dropped an absolute bombshell on you guys. Amaranth, I have started seeing your streams recently and I must say, you look very hot. Can you tell me the secret behind how you've gotten such big boobs? I mean, it's obviously steroids, dude. How fucking stupid are you? And don't get me wrong. I know we've all been a little horny before, you know, maybe we sent a DM or two that we wish we could get back, but you know, but if you're going to send a woman a message, you know, you really have like one or two chance, two chances is like kind of pushing it. Even you have one message to grab her interest. And what you come up with is, uh, can you tell me the secret behind how your boobs got so big? Really? Whenever I see a message like this, I automatically assume that this is probably little Timmy on his iPod touch, or we have someone that is a fedora wearing expert, has never touched a woman, and is looking to change that for the very first time. Either way, dude, there's a million messages you could start off with here, and uh, this is probably one of the worst ones. I mean, you'd be better off just texting her like, hey, tiny dick here, but big personality. You need to suck my penis. 
do I? Do I really? Oh, he blocked me. So even if I was down, what if I was down right now? How would I tell him? He's blocked me. That was, that was a weird move on his behalf. For someone who's that desperate, you think he wouldn't just close doors like that. Now, I gotta say, I respect the hell out of the confidence this person had, but uh, I feel like you were missing a little. I don't know if maybe he sent this on accident, and that's why he hit her with the block, because he wasn't quite ready to send that message yet. While I don't think this approach would ever work, I, I kind of get where he's coming from. You know, you see like a new car advertisement on TV. You need to buy this car right now because it gets the best gas mileage, and it's the sportiest thing in its class or you know you need to suck my penis because i have the best whatever and then you, you hit her with the punchline there but yeah homie just straight up hit her with the block this message is my favorite one of today this has been my whole week he says hello there i know a lot of guys dm you being simps but i just want to say i love your goal of making an animal sanctuary because i would love to make a reptile sanctuary congrats and good luck and then he sends a picture of a capybara with a batman outfit and that's it. He doesn't say, girl, let me see your titties. I want to suck on them toes, suck my dick. Like he's just wholesome. We love that. Thank you so much. Now, I had to include this one in here because I think it proves a good point. You know, you can be as wholesome as you want and she's going to appreciate that, but you're still going to have a dry dick at the end of the day. That's the point to take away from that one anyways. Unfortunately, that's the end of the video, I guess. You know, the title is Why I'm Quitting OnlyFans and I didn't hear a goddamn thing about OnlyFans in that video. Anyways, I just went out and did a little bit of research and it turns out the rumors are true. Amaranth is going to be done doing adult content content on June 30th, which is today. She tweeted out, end of an era. It's time to stop being an e-girl. Cold turkey and quit OnlyFans in June. Going all out till then, we'll go out with a bang grand finale. First up, I just made 350000 to 400000 How do you not know how much you just invested in Twitch? And of course, she included the gif of, you know, my good colleague and friend in the gynecology world, Dr. Johnny Sins. She then came out and also said, my main OnlyFans alone clears $1.4 to $1.5 million a month. Anyways, I just want to make sure I got this right here. So you're making $1.5 million showing the booty hole online. As of right now, she has not given us an update as to like the true reason why she's quitting OnlyFans, but I'll give you guys a, a pretty good explanation of what's going on. here. So really, there are three different avenues that Amaranth is about to take. First off, let's just say she is fucking overwhelmed with money, literally wiping her ass with $100 bills because why the fuck not? Although I know she's got a shit ton of money, I don't think that's the approach she's taking. Okay, you don't go from making $1.5 million a month to just sitting on your ass and doing nothing. The second option she might have chosen here is if you look at the email on your screen, this is something she tweeted out the other day. Essentially, it just says, would you like to take dick in the booty hole for some cash? More specifically, $10 million cash. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you guys, all right? I ain't gay, and if you are, that's great. Um, but I'm just saying $10 million is $10 million. You know, if she doesn't take that offer, I'm not saying I would do it. I'm just saying, uh, you know, we, we could talk about it. Although I think that's definitely a possibility. I think the percentage of it actually happening is pretty low. All right. Realistically speaking, I think Amaranth is moving on to bigger and better investments here. If we look at one of her latest tweets, she says, I wasn't going to talk about the gas stations anymore since the accelerated depreciation bonus rolls off this year. Year, but I figured I'd do one or two last ones for good measure. New come and go on two acres, 12 service pumps for $8 million. She also owns a 7-Eleven gas station and just invested 400000 into Twitch and is going to work on, you know, that network as well. Fellas, I think it's safe to say at this point, Amaranth is a businesswoman. I'm someone that's personally really big into investing, you know, whether it's in the stock market or real estate. I think you should always be investing somehow, some way. I never thought I'd see the day, though, where Twitch streamers, people who just stream fucking video games, or in this case, sit in a lukewarm 
inflatable pool in your living room and talk about sex and shit. I never thought I'd see these people buying gas stations and real estate and shit, man. Like, that's actually really cool to me. Now, one thing I've always said ever since I started covering topics that Amaranth was involved in is, you know, you can't deny the fact that she is a fucking damn good businesswoman. She might say or do some things that most people probably wouldn't be proud of to say that that's how they earn their money, but you can't deny the fact that she is doing whatever it takes to get the bag. Anyways, I'm out of time, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. It really does mean everything to me. You know, just like the channel member. Oh, God, I, I love the channel members, man. Savarstis, and that's it. Guys, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. But uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content, and I will catch you guys next time. Later right now i haven't taken a, a shit in like three days and it's just been nothing but farts like every five minutes i'm not even kidding i gotta go right now actually where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner shut up bitch Excuse me, everyone, I have a VIQ, which I like to call a very important question. Which has more common sense, this freaking potato or this woman? Check this out. Guys, do not use diesel on a Prius or any car that doesn't take it. The station ran out of gasoline, so I used diesel since I figured it'd just make my engine louder. Make my engine louder louder unfortunately she just had to learn the hard way you know some people are like that you just you, you gotta hit them in the face before they realize like dang i shouldn't do that or i'll get hit in the face anyway she finishes it off by saying it does not make your engine louder my car broke down now i'm waiting on triple a so once again i ask the question which has more common sense, this freaking potato or this woman that clearly does not understand a gasoline engine cannot handle diesel fuel? Now, if you said the potato, I've got great news. You are a goddamn winner in my book, okay? Let me know you're a winner by putting it down in the comment section below. Now, I just want to say that my expectations for women understanding how a car operates and drives are very low, possibly as low as you could imagine, but God, God damn, are you that fucking dumb? Like everybody knows, if your Prius runs out of gas and you're unable to get any more, you just put milk in the tank, okay? Toyota has come up with this brand new technology, not very many people know about it, but you just put milk and maybe a little bit of sugar in there. Obviously, you're not going to get the greatest gas mileage, but, you know, it might be enough to get you to the next gas station at least. <laughs> yeah, okay, so my lawyer just called me and said I should throw a little disclaimer, you know, a little disky out there that, uh, you probably shouldn't do that. Do not attach any association of this to me whatsoever. I have nothing to do with such idiocy, such blasphemy, such ridiculous nonsense. And if you do do that, that I just said not to do, I am not responsible. Okay, glad we cleared that up. Anyways, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, the pig guy, bringing you the greatest goddamn video of all fucking time, okay? Anyways, today we have this pretty hot model who made a list of things she expects a man to do in marriage. And while I will say, if you weren't so goddamn sexy, I would think this is a little out of reach for you. But just in your case, okay, here's the visual evidence and, uh... God damn, am I looking at a fucking angel right now? I must say, I knew this video was gonna be some absolute fucking heat just from the get-go. When I looked in the comment section and saw, remember, being able to comment is a privilege, so be respectful. If I find your comment rude, I will delete it. If you're trolling, I'm blocking you. Wait, are you telling me that this smoke show of a woman had some people trolling in her comment? No, no, definitely not this girl. Anyways, let's check out what she has to say things I expect men to do in marriage. Number one, pay the rent, mortgage, and utilities. So that's like the rent, the water, and like the electric. You know what I'm saying? And then if we have a home, like the property tax and the mortgage insurance, all that good stuff. Number two, to do most of the cooking. I cook, but I don't really like to cook. So it's really a plus when I meet a guy who is really good at cooking. And there are actually a lot of men that are great cooks.
day. Oh, really? That's it? So I just have to work a job all day so I can afford to pay for the mortgage and the utilities and everything else just to come home and cook for my wife. And I'll go ahead and give you a little spoiler here. Number three is wash. I got to cook and I got to fucking clean. What do you want me to feed you grapes and wipe your fucking ass too? Like, God damn. If you're going to expect your man to pay for the mortgage and the utilities and cook and clean the dishes, at least tell me you're going to let him enjoy a cold beer after that. Like, please, please, I'm begging you. Number five, take out the trash. I don't like to take out the trash. Number six, any yard work or housework. Now, he doesn't necessarily have to, like, fix it. Like, if there's, like, a broken pipe or something, like, he doesn't have to fix it. But he does have to be responsible and calling whoever to make sure that it is fixed. So it's just his responsibility. So let me get this straight. You don't like taking out the trash. Therefore, it's just not going to be your responsibility. For most women, I would say, you know what? You just got to get over it. But for you, because you are so fucking sexy. God damn. <laughs> yeah, you're still going to fucking take the trash out, though. These two dates and or recreational activities per month. And number nine, an annual honeymoon. Um, I do want to be one of those couples that takes a honeymoon every year in a different location. I think that's super cute. So definitely an annual honeymoon and then a separate family vacation. Um, so that's two big trips per year. So a honeymoon and a separate family vacation. And yes, I expect for him to pay for it. And yes, I expect for him to pay for it. Anyways, after watching that video, I quite literally want to put sand under my eyelids and blink a thousand times or just shove forks in my fucking eyeballs at this point. You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious with me right now. You truly expect a man to do all of this shit for you. And what's your responsibilities going to be exactly? I swear to God, bro, if number one ain't you're going to suck the skin off my fucking dong upon my request, I, uh, it's going to get ugly, man. It is going to be bad. You know, there's really only one thing I want to say to this woman right now, and it's just good luck with that. You know, I really do wish you the best. Some girls can pull this off. They definitely can. Unfortunately, though... You are not one of them. I don't know if this woman thinks she's some sort of solid 10 out here, but newsflash for you, you're fucking not, okay? I would maybe do this for someone like Susan, okay? God, do I want a fucking cream pie Susan so goddamn bad right now. I mean, I've seen some women that think they're entitled to things that they are definitely not, but God, you are the worst, like by far. You want a relationship with a man, but you expect the man to carry 100% of the workload. And you see, the funny thing about that is, at that point, you are not needed in the relationship, like at all. Honestly, you can just fucking leave. One of my favorite sayings in all of life is that the only time a woman will have to work as hard as a man is if she's fat or ugly, and in this case, I think she's gonna be working pretty goddamn hard. Anyways, fellas, with all that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You know what else I really appreciate? These people will never have to work very hard, okay? That is the world's greatest channel members on the goddamn planet. We have Savarstis, and that's it. Guys, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. But uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want me to cream pie, Susan, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Number seven, upkeep the car. So that includes any tire changes that need to be made, any oil changes that need to be made, um, putting gases in the car, making sure the cars are washed, like the whole process of upkeeping the cars from A to Z. I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. All I wanted to do was, like, I was fucking lonely. I wanted to fucking stream and... Have a good time, baby. Have a good game. <laughs> Where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner. Shut up, bitch! So today I met his father, and his father is my gynecologist. Yeah, family dinner's gonna be a little awkward now. Anyways, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. 
I was until I found out about this teacher that has an OnlyFans, and of course, she's hot, like the rest of the teachers that have OnlyFans. Meanwhile, when I was in high school, the only thing I got to see was my football coach's balls, and yeah, that was not very pretty. And if somehow your teacher was a woman, I'm just saying you got to love the BBWs, okay? And don't get me wrong, I think we could all go for a, a you know, a good BBW every now and then, though, but it's not something you're proud, like you don't go tell the boys that you smash something something like that. Anyways, today we're going to talk about a teacher that got her OnlyFans exposed, and here's something I just, I have to get this off my chest, okay? At least from my perspective, if you are a teacher and you want to make an OnlyFans, I don't see anything wrong with that, you know, as long as you don't bring it in the classroom. I mean, who cares what you do outside of school, you know? I, I'm sure I had teachers that you know, smoke the devil's lettuce and stuff too. I mean, teachers already get paid in like Rice Krispie treats and high fives. I mean, they, they really do need the extra income. So I understand why she might want to make an OnlyFans, but aren't you scared of them little shits finding it? Like Timmy and Jimmy are going to get their hands on your OnlyFans at some point. Honestly, I don't think most careers would give a shit if you want to do something like this in your free time. You know, if you're a tax person, like you just sit around and file taxes all fucking day, you might have like Becky from a different department talking shit about the way your booty hole looks, but that's about the worst that's going to come from it. But when you're a teacher, you're going to have these kids like passing these photos around. I mean, it's going to be like rare Pokemon cards at this point. Anyways, to sum up everything I just said, if you're a teacher, just stay away from only fans or if you are going to do it at least be better about hiding it i mean don't be sharing this shit on your facebook for everyone to see come on now an elementary school teacher has been fired after her OnlyFans account was uncovered by her employer, but she's thankful to have support from fans and the platform which she called empowering. She was terminated by bosses at Starbase on June 27th after the educational organization claimed her racy online account was putting its reputation at risk. However, her double life was turned upside down last month when a reporter from some bullshit company exposed the educator in an online article. Now, I will say, okay, as a reporter, it is your job to draw people towards your platform to get those clicks, but uh, did you have to do her this dirty man? He titled the article, Local Teacher Has Peace Sight On Side, Has The Kids Call Her By Her Nickname She Uses On The Peace Sight. According to the article, she used the nickname Buttercup while working with students. It also revealed that her OnlyFans username was Buttercup1981. I mean, what the hell? You Like I said, if you're going to do this, you, you gotta be a little bit secretive, you know? It's not like no one proudly admits, hey, I sell drugs on the weekends. Y you can't re- Oh my god, man. <laughs> The stupidity, it fucking hurts me. I'm not gonna lie. At first, I was like, well, maybe if the students are seniors in high school, you know, I mean, we've all called someone a nickname we probably shouldn't have, but she's teaching fifth graders, man. Like, these kids are still shitting their pants. I don't know, man. I mean, things have changed a lot since I've been in school, but back in my day, you know, we always just called the teacher like Mrs. Toucan Nose or something. You know, it was always just like Mrs. and then her last name. I can't lie. It would be very odd to say as a fifth grader, like, hey, Buttercup, can you come help me with this math homework? Anyways, I just want to say something that we're all thinking right now. She is a MILF. She is very attractive, especially like... Teachers are on a different scale, you know what I'm saying? As a teacher, it don't get much better than this right here. And even if I wasn't in the classroom, let's say my son was, you know, I'd be telling my son all the time, like, hey, you need to rip some posters off the goddamn wall in that classroom because I'm trying to go to a parent-teacher conference tonight. Either way, though, dude, like, you just, you cannot bring stuff like this into the classroom. And if you are, don't fucking have them call you Buttercup when your username is Buttercup cup like and you're the one teaching these fucking kids man come on now and obviously as soon as this article started getting some traction the school let this woman go i mean you pretty much have to at that point you know also i'm pretty sure this was at a private school where you know the parents pretty much fun the whole fucking place so if they don't like something there's gonna be some changes made to make sure the principal is still getting that check next year so what did we learn from today's video 
First off, the gynecologist sees a little more than what most people probably do. And second off, if you're a teacher, I understand you ain't getting paid shit. You're dealing with little fucking assholes all day. And I commend you for that, okay? I really do. But you still just, you you cannot start an OnlyFans, okay? I, I am very sorry. I think you should be able to. But if you do, there are going to be issues at some point in time. Like, just to become a teacher, you know, you gotta go through a lot of extensive training and schooling and everything. I mean, you really don't want to throw all of that away, right? <laughs> At least I would hope most of you don't. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You know what else I appreciate? The world's greatest chance. I appreciate the hell out of these fellas right here, okay? We have Savarstis, and that's it. Guys, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today, but uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content, and if you want me to cream pie Susan, cause god I know I do, love you, Susan. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time, later. sure because I really have tried everything with dating. I've dated online, I've hosted singles events, I've approached strangers in random places, so I'm ready to try Love at First Kiss and maybe this will be the magic I'm looking for. Listen, I'm no rocket scientist, but if you're looking for a long-term relationship, I don't think signing up to kiss someone on TLC is your best bet. But then again, dude, what do I know? Sometimes people go to church and they fall in love and have kids and live happily ever after. And sometimes couples meet each other for the first time and smear peanut butter on each other's private parts behind a dumpster. And they also live happily ever after. I think I am definitely more confident this time because I've already had that first kiss out of the way. I think my strategy is just go for the kiss. Maybe I'll be able to like slip tongue. And then from there, things take off and who knows, maybe she's my first girlfriend. Oh God, this guy is fucked. There's literally nothing you can do to save this man right now. He's already talking about shoving his tongue down her throat and he doesn't even know her name or what she looks like. Hell, she could be the janitor from your high school and you're already like, I can't wait to be tongue deep inside that hole. He claims to be confident, which is great. I applaud that, but I'm not getting the confidence vibes here, okay? I'm not really the type of person to listen to the stars and moon and let them tell me how to live my life, but something is not adding up here. Now, I'm not trying to be mean to this guy, but dude, you are a fucking weirdo, and I feel like the camera crew is, they gotta be setting you up. Like, why do they keep showing these stupid ass cinematic shots of you awkwardly walking around the hallway? Why'd you round the corner like that in the first place? Hello. Oh my god, I can tell right away. They're gonna have sex. Hi. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. What's your name? Emily. I'm Josh. Hi. <laughs> um, can I kiss you? Sure. The Tinder loving cock network has done it again, fellas. They have made the perfect match. You know what's crazy about what just happened is that I was not in the room, nor was I the person in the actual engagement here, but I felt physical pain. Like I actually wanted to hurt myself. Do you guys have any idea what I would pay to know what was going through this man's mind at this very instance? Like, he had to have been thinking about his tongue scraping the back of her throat right there, and that just got him all tripped up and shit. 
Honestly, dude, I'm sitting here and I am trying to think of one thing he did right here. One thing, and I can't, I can't come up with it. Now, obviously, that was the shittiest kiss in the entire world, okay? If you don't know what you're doing here, buddy, I suggest you watch Tom Brady and his children. Now, I hate to say this, but the only chance he has left at this point is to have a strong rebound here, and I can't imagine it happens, but I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's see what goes on. I don't know. <laughs> what ha I don't I don't know what happened. That was more awkward than I anticipated it was going to be. You know, I want to say that I'm surprised right now, but at the same time, I fully expect it was honestly the best decision he could have made there. Like who am I to think you could even save that dude? That ship it, it's basically the fucking Titanic at that point. There's no saving it. You might as well jump. If there was any advice I could give this man Josh right now, it's I suggest you move at least two states away, change your name, and get a haircut. Because honestly, I just want to act like whatever the fuck I just witnessed right there didn't actually happen. When I watch a video on YouTube, I don't think I've ever said I hope that's fake until now. I think the only thing Josh could have done better in this scenario here is instead of walking back to the producer, I would walk straight to my fucking car, go back to the airport, fly the fuck away from there, and just act like it never happened. Like seriously, what the fuck did I just witness, dude? You couldn't you couldn't have done any worse if you tried, honestly. The girl was already down. She was there to get the kid. Like, you had to do no effort at this point. All you had to do was show up and not be a fucking weirdo. And, well, we all saw how that went down. The thing is, man, I really do want to give Josh the benefit of the doubt here and say, you know, the first time, it's always a little awkward. It never goes how you thought it would go in your head. Remember when he was backstage pumping himself up, talking about his confidence, how he's done this before? Yeah, I can't lie, man. I'm not seeing a whole lot of confidence right here. All I know is that if I were Josh in this scenario, obviously I'm going to the airport minimum two states away, and then I'm getting on the phone with the manager at TLC saying, dude, I will pay you whatever amount of money you want to not post that shit. I mean, it's bad enough that it actually happened, but if this never would have been on YouTube, you know, people like you and me and your friends and family would never see this and it wouldn't be near as big of a deal. I don't know how this guy sleeps at night. Truly, I do not know. Now, with that being said, I'm curious to hear your guys' opinion on this. Do you think Josh deserves a second chance, or should he just go sit on a cactus? Let me know in the comments section down below. But guys, with all that being said, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You know who doesn't need to go sit on a cactus right now? The world's greatest channel members, thank you so much to Savarstis, and that's it. Guys, your support really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today, but uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want me to do the pie cream with Susan. You know, you know Susan. I know Susan. I love you, Susan. Yeah, let's do the cream pie thing. Anyways, everyone have a great day. I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as usual. So guys, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. Today's video is not going to be normal. I actually just got back from a vacation. I was out enjoying life, you know, getting away from everything. It was fantastic, honestly, until I came back to some bullshit that Twitch is putting on right now. Sometimes I cover topics on this channel where it might actually make me a little mad. You know, the, the vein in my forehead might pop just a little bit. Today is, uh, today's gonna be a little different though, okay? So for those of you that don't exactly know what's going on right now, I know most of you have probably heard this a hundred times, but I quickly have to cover it for those who haven't. So I'm sure most of you are familiar with this man right here. This is Gideon. He's probably the number one guy on YouTube at the moment. 
One day on Twitch, he sent over his viewers to Pokimane, where they all spammed in the chat L plus ratio. This right here, that's on your screen. This is what made a fucking grown woman cry. This is so fucking pathetic, it's unreal. Anyways, next thing you know, all these cucks over at Twitch headquarters are on their hands and knees bowing down to Pokimane. It is sad. It is so pathetic. And right after that happens, Twitch hands Gideon one of these, sign for this L, my <coughs> Anyways, and what I mean by that is Twitch just went ahead and pulled the plug on his account. It was gone. Didn't exist anymore. And that could have been the end of the story right then and there. But it wasn't. It wasn't. In fact, Gideon reached out to Pokimane. They broke bread together. It was a wonderful thing to see. I mean, like, yeah, this picture, it's cool and everything, and it's great that they made up, but after them McChickens were gone, I think we all know Pokimane was bent over that fucking couch. Don't worry, fellas, we'll see it one day. When Pokimane's career starts dying and she releases the OnlyFans, it's going to be on there. Trust me, my sources told me this is so legit. Anyways, after these two lovebirds had makeup sex, I thought we were all good, you know, Gideon's coming back to the platform, no issues. Yeah, right. He actually posted this on his Twitter account, basically just an email from Twitch saying, hey, thanks for streaming on the platform, but you're a stupid fuck and you can leave. And just like this article says here, former Twitch streamer Gideon revealed he had a call with a Twitch rep about potentially getting his ban revoked. The ban was due to his hate raid on Pokimane in January. Despite apologizing for what happened and him and Pokimane bearing the hatchet, the damage was done. Twitch took this seriously and banned him permanently, though he has tried to get that undone. Now I know what some of you might be thinking right now. Well doc, like what's the big deal man? He did a hate raid. That was so hateful. Oh my god, I can't believe, you know. If someone said L plus ratio in my comment section, I also might have a meltdown. And for those of you that rode that one bus, I can't remember what it's called, but like it's uh, it's a little bit shorter than the normal bus if you get what I'm saying. I'm obviously not going to have a meltdown. The chances of that happening are about the same as your father sticking around after you were born. So uh, yeah. Now with all this being said, okay, I understand we got a little off track there. Let's bring it back to the bring it back to the subject here though. The reason I am so fucking pissed off at Twitch right now is because not that long ago, they had someone threaten to walk in the Twitch headquarters and take the life of every employee in there. If you guys don't remember this, I actually made a video on it, I'll link it in the description below, but this person goes by the name of Narcissa, I'm pretty sure. Basically, all you need to know about this subject is that this person got banned off of Twitch, and so they tweeted out, I want to, uh, not live anymore by myself, and, uh, go ahead and play a round of paintball without the paintballs, and instead lead, uh, with the people at Twitch headquarters. Haha, -ha, yeah, very funny. This person is an actual threat to society. This is not someone you really want on your platform, but yet they got unbanned? Like, are you fucking kidding me right now? That stupid reindeer fuck over there at Twitch headquarters decided that spamming the word L plus ratio was more mentally damaging to someone than threatening to take their life. How? How does this make any fucking sense, dude? Please, I am begging you. I am actually fucking begging you guys. Please, someone make it make sense. I don't think I have ever wished for a company to go out of business more than that dog shit pile of fucking crap known as Twitch. I mean, I ain't even gonna fucking lie. I don't know who runs the goddamn website, and it's probably a good thing that they hide their identity because, uh, they are a stupid fucking idiot. Alright, I take that back. He doesn't hide his identity. It's just he's fucking irrelevant because he sucks ass at his job. I mean, if he'd spend more time on the platform than growing out some shitty sideburns and taco meat on his chest, who knows? It's almost like the platform might actually be good. Now let's get one thing straight here, alright? I want to cream pie the fucking hell out of Mrs. Susan because she's so goddamn good at everything she does. Just like how she's going to put my channel in the algorithm as soon as I drop my low insider but mr emmett as for you i i just want to say you can go fuck yourself 
And if we're being completely honest here, it seems like every other week YouTube is giving some Twitch streamer like millions of dollars to come over to the YouTube platform. I mean, dude, it's only a matter of time before Twitch just, I mean, it's never going to go under because it's owned by Amazon, but I really do think it's just a matter of time before the gaming platform as a whole just kind of leaves Twitch. And so the only people left around watching Twitch streams are uh, dudes jerking off to girls and little pools in their living room. Now one last thing I really want to say about this topic and then I promise I will end the video here and Mr. Emmett can quite literally come sit on my cock if he'd like. If this is what's known as a hate raid, it is the softest, the most pathetic hate raid I've ever seen in my life because I don't see anything hateful about it. The sentence L plus ratio has been a meme on Twitter for like a fucking year now. It's not like he came in there and said, your streams suck because you're a woman or, or you suck because you have brown hair or something stupid like that. Either way, there was nothing hateful about that raid whatsoever. Second off, Gideon did what he, I mean, what else do you want from the goddamn man? He reached out to her, he apologized, he's, you know, he did what he could to make the situation right. Even though I don't think he should have had to because, again, he didn't do anything hateful, but he's a nicer guy than I am. He's a better man than I am, I guess. So he reached out to her, made things right. They made amends, they broke bread, they ate chicken sandwiches together and shit, and then they had sex on that couch and after giving this situation some time letting all this steam blow over he still fucking got denied i cannot fucking believe myself right now someone please smash a fucking watermelon on my head meanwhile someone else that we're all gonna see on the news in the next five years gets a freebie you know you can say some naughty shit you can threaten us but uh don't worry you know just don't do it again man just don't do it again like honestly dude i'm at the point in my life whenever i see some bullshit story like this i'd rather just shove a poor porcupine up my fucking ass and tickle his nose so his spikes come out. Also, when I was just logging into my YouTube channel, I noticed that it is the channel's birthday. I've officially been on YouTube for a couple years now, so I appreciate everyone's support here. It really does mean everything to me. Without your guys' support, who knows where I'd be right now, dude? I mean, hell, I could be out there having people sign for packages when I drop them off on their doorstep. Anyways, I want to give a huge thank you to the world's greatest channel members. We have Savarstis, and that's it. Guys, seriously, thank you for your support. I know I've said this like 10 times now. I literally would kiss every single one of you motherfuckers on the mouth, and I would I would maybe even throw some tongue in there for this, for some of you at least. For some of you for sure, yeah, definitely. That's a for sure ski. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today, but uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the content that way susan can see this and i can finally fulfill my dream of delivering my seed to her and with all that being said i will catch you guys next time later where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success to their male partner shut up bitch <laughs>whispered to my dude i'm like let's go to the room so we go to the room and he brought one of his friends i think we all have a pretty good idea of what happens next anyways what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you're all having a fantastic day do you want to take a guess of who's not about to have a good day oh yeah it's this girl's man i can't even lie bro after i finished this video i got down on one knee and i prayed to the good lord that that man gets through whatever the hell he's going through right now like, it's bad enough to find out the person you care for is out there flirting with other people and giving other individuals their time. But what are you supposed to do when you find out your girl had a little fun with seven, seven NBA players, man? So, I was getting, when the Suns players walked into the hotel room, okay, I was butt-ass naked, <laughs> sucking dick, getting fucked from the back. So I'm like in doggy, right? So you already just got it cracking. Yes. Okay, and then they all walk in unannounced and I'm butt ass naked like having this threesome. I'm like, oh my God. I'm sure most of you have been able to tell just by the way I speak. I've been a big sports guy my whole life, all right? I played many different sports. I've been on a lot of different teams, which means I've been very close to a lot of different dudes, but like I ain't never been this close to my teammates. God damn. 
I did not know this is how the Suns get down, all right? You guys know how coaches always be like, guys, we're going to do some team building activities today. Like, I guarantee that coach thinks he's doing something to get the team chemistry up. Let me tell you, there's nothing like building chemistry when the whole team is mixing their bodily fluids inside some chick's ass. Anyways, just to give a little recap of what's about to go down here, so this woman is currently getting her cheeks absolutely obliterated by two different dudes, and then she basically says that Devin Booker and six of his teammates walk in the room, and uh, yeah, it's about to go down. And then Devin comes and sits on the front of the bed, and he's like, yo, so they like saw me about you. I want to fuck, I want you to suck my dick. And they're all sitting around the bed, they're like, yeah, do it, like, let, let's run a train or whatever the fuck. And I'm like, bruh, I just got fucked, I'm naked and I'm drunk as fuck and I'm tired, like, I don't want to do this. Uh, this sounds like it's going down a dark path. No, it's not, it's not. I was down, okay? I'm, it's not weird. You just said you weren't down in the moment. I wasn't at that point, okay. and then... Yep, that's about all I needed to see. Fellas, if your girl ever acts like this, okay, she's never truly yours. It's just your turn. Notice how she was like, oh my god, I was in the room naked, scared when these people walked in. And then I remembered, wait, they have money and a lot of followers on Instagram. So yeah, let's do a fucking train on my asshole. Are you shitting me right now? Like she ain't even trying to hide the fact that she was just straight up clout chasing at this point. I will say, at least this woman is no Britney Renner. If you're not familiar with her, basically Britney will go to different college campuses and different professional athletes have houses and just get absolutely cream pied by everyone in the room and once she's knocked up then she goes to the law firm picks out a lawyer and gets someone to pay her child support i mean that's about as low as you can fucking go in my opinion you are just straight up abusing the system honestly the worst part about this is that she's so open with everything first her legs and then the fact that she's abusing the system i mean she'll fucking tweet out hey everyone i'm at duke university hide your sons and it really sucks because these young athletes are literally dedicating their entire lives to the game of basketball. And meanwhile, this girl's out here sitting on top of someone for 30 seconds and then collecting a $300,000 child support check every fucking month. Anyways, I'm getting off track here. What that woman is doing is fucking predatory. She should be locked up. What this woman right here is doing is just taking a lot of fucking dick in the ass. And I'm sure her boyfriend doesn't really appreciate that. And then I was like, okay, look, well, I will dick, suck like, Devin's oh, dick if you guys it. all leave. So then they're like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So they're all sitting around the bed, like, recording this shit. Wait, so but I you, you tell them you, you would suck the one guy's dick if they all left the room? Yeah. And then they didn't leave the room? Yeah. But I was down, though. Like, after I did that, they just rotated, and I was like, okay, whatever, I'm just going to do this. So y'all leave. And then I did it. I'm not going to lie. The, the comments that this woman is making is actually pissing me off. Like, how are you going to sit here and tell me, yeah, I just sucked off every dude in the room. You know, I just wanted them to leave. Oh, really? You just you just wanted them to leave the room? Well, why didn't you just ask him? All right, because that's what I do. When someone's in my house or whatever and I'm getting annoyed of him, I say, all right, can you leave? And if they don't, then I'll say okay it's time for you to go and then if they still don't leave the room then i will give them a uh, get the fuck out of this room right now not once not a single time in my entire life on this planet have i been like man i really just want these people to leave so i guess i'll suck all their fucking dicks after i did that they just rotated and i was like okay whatever i'm just gonna do this so y'all leave and then i did it i'm so sick of these people you know oh like, really? That that was the excuse. That's the reason you gave for sucking off all these NBA players. I mean, I didn't really expect you to be like an engineer at NASA or anything, but that's the best thing you could come up with? Are you shitting me? And I passed the fuck out in that bed, you guys. I wasn't even there the night before, and I wake him up. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? He's like, this is my room. I came in here, and you were passed out, so I just fucking let you sleep here. I was like, shut up. And he was so hot. I was kind of pissed. So I was like, damn, if I wasn't like so gross, I would have fucked him. But I was like, no, I got to go. I got an Uber and I did. And that was it. You know what, man? Honestly, I have nothing left to say. This is just fucking bullshit. I'm so... Listen, if there is anything I want you guys to take away from today's video, it's that you can't turn a hooker into a fucking housewife. You just can't do it, man.
And I get it, we all want a woman like this for at least one night, but uh, you do not want a chick like this for the rest of your life, dude. It comes with nothing but headaches and trouble. Anyways, fellas, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope whoever this man is that was with this woman, I hope he's still here with us. I'm just going to leave it at that. You know who is still here with us? The world's greatest channel members. We have Savarstis and that's it. Guys, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean everything everything to me. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today, but uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video so I can have a night like this with Susan, okay? I need a night with Susan. I, I really need one, okay? And I need to cream pie her. I don't know why. It just has to happen. So, uh, yeah, please leave a like on the video so we can make that happen, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. where people would try to accredit a female streamer's success. Ooh, I am so sorry to interrupt this outro. I know you guys want to see that pig shake his ass because goddamn, that is some good bacon. But I was sitting here editing the video and I actually got a phone call from my manager and he was like, yo, doc, like... The video, it needs another 20 seconds, otherwise it's not going to hit the 8 minute mark and, and don't you want to get like... Anyways, alright, I think we're there. Have a good day, everyone. To their male partner. Shut up, bitch! Oh my god!